on April the 20th, 1988, Adolf Hitler's birthday. Fred Leuchter, not knowing he's gonna be delivering a birthday present to the Fuhrer, steps into the witness box in Toronto. Devastation reigns all around. The prosecution and the judge were in a visible state of panic. I could see the facial muscles working in the judge. I could see the pale face of the prosecutor. This was history making. That was clear to everybody present. They cross-examined Fred. Immediately, of course, they zeroed in on his soft or inadequate academic credentials for what he was doing. The judge made a decision that could have been very dangerous to us in that he said, the samples by themselves are worthless unless the defense can bring the man who did the testing. I went up to Toronto on very short notice, not knowing any of the background at all of what was going on. They wanted somebody from the laboratory to say, yes, we analyzed these samples. Yes, we produced this report on the analysis. And that's what I was there to do. I don't think the Lucher results have any meaning. There's nothing in any of our data that says those surfaces were exposed or not. Even after I got off the stand, I didn't know where the samples came from. I didn't know which samples were which. It was only at lunch that I found out really what the case involved. Hindsight being 2020, the test was not the correct one to have been used for the analysis. He presented us with rock samples anywhere from the size of your thumb up to half the size of your fist. We broke them up with a hammer so that we could get a subsample. Place it in a flask, add concentrated sulfuric acid. And it undergoes a reaction. It produces a red colored solution. It is the intensity of this red color that we can relate with cyanide concentration. You have to look at what happens to cyanide when it reacts with a wall. Where does it go? How far does it go? Cyanide is a surface reaction probably not going to penetrate more than 10 microns. Human hair is 100 microns in diameter. Crush this sample up. I have just diluted that sample 10,000, 100,000 times. If you're going to go look for it, you're going to look on the surface only. There's no reason to go deep because it's not going to be there. Which was the exposed surface? I didn't even have any idea. That's like analyzing paint on the wall by analyzing the timber that's behind it. If they go in with blinders on, they will see what they want to see. What was he really trying to do? What was he trying to prove? 